Here are the answers to the practice questions on page 102 and 103 of the notes. One is A, two can be either beluga whale or condor, three C, four A, five B, seven C, nine A, 10 B, 11 B, 12 B, 13 C, and for 14, Centrosterus hexamoroceras cryptolithus for rocks one, two, and three. Correct answer number one is less than 1%. If you remember from the notes, it's been a very, very, very short time that humans have been on the scene. Question two, identify one New York State index fossil of an organism that lived during the same time as the woolly mammoth. So we need to find the woolly mammoth on here. And you'll find it right here. It says mammoths in our reference tables at that point. So we need to find a index fossil, either O or S, that matches. O and S are the mastodont, the beluga whale, and S is the condor. According to fossil evidence in the geologic record, which of these life forms appeared on Earth most recently? So we need to find these five on the reference tables. We're going to look for where the sharks, birds, flowering plants, and mammals are. So sharks, earliest sharks are here. Are you willing, life on Earth, are you willing to read through all of this to find the answer? It might take some time to get to it. But here are the earliest sharks right there. Here we find the earliest birds. Earliest mammals are here. And earliest flowering plants are there. So of those four, the question asks, which one's most recent? Remember on this chart, this is now at the top and geologic time gets older as we head down. So the most recent would be the earliest flowering plants. Question four, again, which event occurred earliest? So we, which one occurred the most recent? We got to go through and find out where those are. So the first one, appearance of the earliest grasses, we can see is right here. We got to look on this chart, earliest grasses here. Earliest birds, we already did that one. Here's our earliest birds. The Greenville orogeny, remember orogeny means mountain building, so we got a handful of mountain building events. The Greenville orogeny is this one here. And then the intrusion of the Palisade Sill, again, is a geologic event. And if you read through all of this, eventually you'll find the intrusion of the Palisade Sill right here. So I have the intrusion of the Palisade Sill happening between the Dra Jurassic and Triassic. The Greenville orogeny is way down here in the Precambrian. Here's the earliest birds. The earliest grasses are here during the Cenozoic. That would be the most recent. Question five, which life forms existed on Earth during the same time period? The first choice is trilobites. And mastodont, the trilobites, we can see under the time distribution of fossils section, the trilobites existed from here to here. That's where they became, ex excuse me, that's where they became extinct. So there's the trilobites. The mastodont is O. If we come up here. There, there's the mastodont right there. During the quaternary period, the trilobites were down here during these periods during the Paleozoic era. So no, the trilobites and the mastodonts did not live together at the same 
the time. The next one says the ammonoids and the Naples tree. So the ammonoids, again, are this long section right here. Here's where the ammonoids came into existence, and they lived to there. The Naples tree is Q, and we find that right here. There's the Naples tree. And yeah, notice the ammonoids and the Naples tree existed at the same time. If you went and looked at all the others, you'd find that they did not live at the same time. Question seven, most life forms that have ever lived are now extinct. Most things that have ever lived on the earth are now extinct. Question nine, evidence indicates that 251 million years ago, a mass extinction of many life forms occurred on earth. Which form of life became extinct at this time? 251 million years ago, we can find that on our chart. There's 251 million years ago. This is the end of the Paleozoic. Remember, time is moving this way on the chart. So here's the Paleozoic. It comes to an end 251 million years ago. And right here, we see mass extinction of many land and marine organisms. And there's the answer, including the trilobites. We could also see this over here, how the trilobite line stops right there. Why does it stop? Because that's when the trilobites became extinct. Question 10 says, during which period, so we have geologic periods, did the uplifting of the Adirondack Mountains begin? So we need to find where on this chart we find something about the Adirondack Mountains. To make life a little bit easier, instead of looking all over, you can limit your searches to the choices. They give us the quaternary, so we'll look here. Cretaceous, Triassic, and Cambrian. There's the Triassic, and then we'll also come down and look at the Cambrian as well. This way, instead of looking at all of this information, we could just look here, 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 and here. So during the Triassic, we could look and see, is there anything about the Adirondack Mountains beginning to upload, uplift? We can go to the Cambrian. Is there anything about the Adirondacks? You will find something about the Adirondacks starting to lift up. Right here, it says dome-like uplift of Adirondack region begins. When is that? That's happening during the Cretaceous period. Question 11, the reason we divide Earth's history up into these different eras, periods, and epochs is all based on the fossil evidence. Notice everything here is about life on Earth, which we learn about with the fossils. This whole section about the index fossils, we see where different types of critters have lived and died and become extinct. All of these divisions of geologic history are all based on the fossil record. In our note, we realized that the Precambrian was an extremely long period of time. We remember in our notes, we said that the Precambrian, there's the beginning of the Earth, the formation of the Earth and the solar system. There's the Precambrian. The Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic are very small compared with the Precambrian. So I should have the Precambrian being a very large area. This Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic should be small, the best choice for that is choice B. 13, during which geologic epoch, so now we're not asking about periods or errors, but epoch, do scientists infer that the earliest grasses, if remember we already looked up earliest grasses, we found them here, there's the earliest grasses. We're not asking what geologic period that happened or what geologic era that happened, but what epoch happened, and that's during the Oligocene. Question 14, 
takes some time, but it's certainly something that you can do. It gives us these three fossils, which are index fossils, these three index fossils. So we can find them down here in the bottom of pages eight and nine. And they want to know which of these fossils would best fit into layers one, two, and three. The first thing we need to do is find these fossils. And let's find out during what geologic time period. So here we're looking at the index fossils and geologic time periods they existed. We have Hexameroceras. And there's Hexameroceras right here. Here's Hexameroceras. Hexameroceras. That is letter E. If I find letter E, I'll notice that that happened during the Silurian period. Centrocerus is F. I can see that F was during the Devonian time period. Cryptolithus, one of our trilobites, is B. And we can see that B, Cryptolithus trilobite, is during the Ordovician time period. Now that we know that, we could certainly figure out which fossil goes where. We've got our Silurian, which is the hex right here. The Centro is Devonian. And the Ordovician is, has the Cryptolithus. We know that the oldest rock layer between rock layers one, two, and three, the oldest rock layer is going to be on the bottom. The youngest rock layer is at the top. So the oldest rock layer, three, is going to contain the oldest fossil. Well, the oldest fossil, if we look here, is the one that happened during the Ordovician. That's the oldest time. So the oldest fossil, or choice three, should be the Cryptolithus. The youngest rock layer would be the one, the Centrocerus, since the youngest rock layers are at the top. So number one should be Centrocerus. Which leaves us the hex here. Yeah. 